Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a fairy loot box. Um, I don't know which one this is. It's either going to be Divine Rivals or... Not Divine Rivals, Ruthless Vows. Or Emily Wilde's Out to the Overlands. I can't remember which one. I'm just waiting on both. <gasps> it's Ruthless Vows. Oh my god. Okay. I should really start paying more attention to the fairy loot emails that I get. Oh, this be chunky compared to the first one. I can't get in. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm here. I can't do it. Alright, there we go. The way Divine Rivals ended. My god, this has been driving me crazy. Here we go. It's Ruthless Vows. And these are the stunning sprayed edges. Come on, focus. Look at that. I love the colouring. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So excited. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. So this is what we've got on the hardcover. I think it's the same on the back as well. Love the gold on the black or it's more like a bronzy color actually but either way i am loving it what i'm liking even more though is this look at that i love foiling on the end papers so much is it the same that's kind of disappointing that they put the same on the front and the back i think it would have been nice for the different ones but still still very very pretty I don't, I'm not, I'm looking for a letter and I don't know why because it's not a letter, obviously. It's a standalone. Okay, so for those of you that have not read Divine Rivals, this is probably going to be a bit spoilery for you when I read the blurb out. Um, I recommend getting it because it's a really, really good book um, and I imagine this is going to be just as good. Oh, it's only a duology. Well, that's kind of sad, but also nice because it means I don't have to wait another year to find out what happens. Oh, well. The epic conclusion to the intensely romantic and beautifully written story that started in Divine Rivals. Two weeks have passed since Iris returned home, bruised and heartbroken from the front, but the war is far from over. Roman is missing, lost behind enemy lines with no memory of his past or Iris, hoping his memories return, he begins to write again, but this time for the enemy. When a strange letter arrives through his wardrobe door, he strikes up a correspondence with a pen pal who seems at once mysterious and strangely familiar. As their connection deepens, the two of them will risk their very hearts and futures to change the tides of war. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. And I've literally just started a new book today. And then this is next on my reading list because... I have cleared my reading list apart from manga, which doesn't really count, I feel like. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get through these so quick. Um, for those of you who don't know, Rebecca Ross is the number one New York Times and Sunday Times bestselling author of fantasy books for teens and adults. She has written multiple highly acclaimed duologies, including Letters of Enchantment, Elements of Cadence and The Queen's Rising, as well as two standalone novels, Dreams Lie Beneath and Sisters of Sword and Song. When not writing, she can be found in her garden where she plants wildflowers and story ideas. She resides in northeast Georgia with her husband and her dog. I'm so excited that this is finally here. I've been waiting so long for it. It's the way the first book ended. Oh my god. The feels, the emotion. I can find out what happens now. Yay, my eye is starting to water because I've got really bad hay fever. Ah. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's a really pretty book. I feel like the cover looks very similar to Divine Rivals. I'm hoping I'm wrong though because it'd be a shame if they reuse the same cover, but I think I'm wrong. I feel like I'm wrong, but it's on my shelf behind stuff, like behind the camera, so I don't want to mess around with anything. Um, I will, once I've read, post a review on my website as always. The link will be in the description below. Um... It will probably be a couple of weeks before it actually gets posted. Um, 
and yeah unfortunately in terms of the other book boxes this month Aluma Crate have announced that because of the whole Kate Corrine debacle who was originally going to be May's book um, there is now a massive delay because the other books weren't ready in time we're not actually going to get May's box until after we've received June's box so there is a massive delay on that um, and there is also a delay on the Page and Wick box so who knows when the next unboxing will be but we have this now and it's very pretty and I'm so excited and if you've liked this video please drop a like and subscribe if not totally fine and I will see you for the next unboxing